This is a pretty tricky question. So we've got a dump truck, right? I'm just gonna just draw an angle here. We've got our dump truck, made of steel, and it's got a wadding trough. The bed of the truck is slowly raised, da 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 da. And like, there's no masses given. So it's like, what the heck is going on? And we're at an angle, but we don't know what the angle is. So we've got our dump truck. I'm just gonna make it a dot, right? What do we got down? We've got weight down, right? And then you've got the normal force up. And you've also got the force of friction, but this is the force of static friction, all right? And uh, eventually, once it starts to move, you're going to have the force of kinetic friction. And when you have the force of kinetic friction, if you think about it for a moment, when it first starts to move is when the force of the static friction, mu s equals f normal, but is going to be equal to the coefficient or to the force of kinetic friction. So when f of k equals f of s, um, that's when it's going to start to move. Now, you might remember that if we know this angle here, boom, 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 do this, this is also theta. So the this will be, and W, of course, is mg. That's, that's the hypotenuse. So this is mg cos theta. That makes this mg cos theta. That's, that's going to be your normal force. So watch what I do because, and the force of pushing down, actually, it's not when that's not true. I didn't say that right. When the force of static friction is equal to the force applied. And this would be mg sine theta. So when mg sine theta is equal to this right here, and mu of s they gave us, what was that, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 mg cos theta. Now at this point, we need to solve for theta. We don't know what the angle is, but we can calculate it. So what we can do is, well, I hope you see that, the mg's cancel. By the way, if you're struggling and you say the mass wasn't given, you can make it up because ultimately what the problem is saying is that the m is going to cancel. And so what I can say is I can say sine theta is 0.8 cos theta. Now at this point, we have one equation with one unknown. And so I used my solver on my calculator to decide what this is. Um, I think sine theta over cos theta is like tan or something like that. But I just used my solver and my calculator to figure out what theta was. And uh, I would encourage you to know that. So once you know theta, so you will know what theta is. It's some angle, um, some number of degrees that you're going to plug into your solver. So the next question is, what is the acceleration of the trough as it slides down? So when you're trying to figure out what the acceleration is, it's going to be when, um, so let's think back down to our picture here, is it's being pushed down by this. But at this point, once it starts to move, the only thing that's holding it back now is kinetic friction. So the force applied, which by the way is mg sine theta, that's the force that's pushing it down the ramp, is minus, there's the, at, this, at the second stage, it's not being held by static friction, but by kinetic friction, is minus the force kinetic is your net force. And so it's mg sine theta minus mu k mg cos theta. And that's your net force and we're trying to find the acceleration, and that's equal to ma, and your goal is to si solve for a. Now, you might say, wait a second, I don't know the mass. The mass will all cancel. If you see the masses are all canceling, and again, make them all one. You know what g is, right? You'll at this point know what theta is from up here, and then you know the mu of k that was given. You know the mass. Well, it's just going to cancel. You just m, m, and m all cancels. So a is just going to be g sine theta minus mu k cos theta once you know what theta is.